Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, a little trick. And this trick relates to uniform acceleration followed by immediate uniform deceleration. So just to give you an idea of what that might look like, if you're plotting time and velocity, so you have a velocity versus time graph, and we'll say something accelerates like this, and then immediately decelerates like that, and we'll say we have A1 and uh, A2, then the, it, there is a, an easy way, we'll say, of analyzing the motion. Now, to be honest, right, you might be saying to yourself, I have to remember the formula that I'm going to prove in a moment. You don't, and I was looking, when I saw this in the book, and by the way, it's on page 55 of the book, I was thinking to myself, like, if you were just to go about solving questions like this in the normal fashion, the condition that we're going to prove in a moment is going to fall out anyway. So I wouldn't worry about it. Like, if, if you understand the U of S formula and how to manipulate it, then to be quite honest, you'll be just fine. So, anyway, let's just, uh, let's just try and do this first of all. So let's say we have a, a T1 and a T2. So we're accelerating at an acceleration A1 for, uh, for time T1 and accelerating for a time T2 at an acceleration or a deceleration of A2. Now, by the way, I know that this here is a, a deceleration, so it should have a, a negative. But to be honest, because I'm saying this is just A2, it could turn out that A2 could be minus 10, for example. So the sign will just come out anyway. It doesn't really matter. You don't really need to do that. So let's, uh, let's go. Well, what do we do? What we'll do is we'll first of all analyze the motion in this first triangle here. And then we'll analyze the motion in the second triangle. So the first one. Right. Now actually what I'll do first is uh, up here I'll draw our, I'll write out our U of S formula. So V is equal to U plus AT. V squared is equal to U squared plus 2AS. Um, let me think. S, V, let me think. <laughs> I'm, actually, uh, I'm actually a bit stumped now after getting drawing a blank. Just give me a moment. Um, S is equal to UT plus a half AT squared. And S is equal to U plus V over 2 times t, like that. Sorry about my phone, I probably should put this thing on silent before I do these videos. Anyway, so let's just analyze this here, uh, part one, and this is how we go about doing it. We say v, uh, you, you will say u vast u v a s t. This is, this is how I always go about doing these things. Start off by writing u v a s t. Initial velocity is zero. The final velocity, uh, we don't know that yet. The acceleration is A1. The time is T1. So, the velocity, we could say V is equal to U plus AT. So V is equal to 0 plus A times T. So it's uh, A1 times T1. Or you could also say that it's, uh, you could say V squared is equal to U squared plus 2AS. So you could say V squared is equal to 2A1 times S1. We'll say it like that. Now, S, we know that S is equal to UT plus a half AT squared. So, once again, since U is equal to zero, you could say S is equal to half A1T squared. Half A1T squared. Or you could say it's U plus V over 2 times T. Uh, U plus V over 2 times T. Grant. Okay? So, actually, we'll write that in as well. U plus V will be V over 2 times t1 so that's it we'll call that v1 by the way v1 like that do the same thing for part two we'll say u v a s t the time for this section here this this triangle there was t2 the distance we'll speak about that in a moment the acceleration is a2 the velocity is zero as in the final velocity here is zero and the initial velocity is the final velocity of part one. I hope that makes sense to you because if, if you're after, if you have, um, if if the if you have a, we'll say a car accelerating, accelerating, accelerating the whole way up to here, and it gets to a certain speed up here, and then immediately starts to decelerate, then the final speed on this section here is equal to the starting speed in this section here. So this is exactly what we have. We have the fact that after we'll say this vertical line that I've drawn. The final speed for, si for, for part 1 is equal to the starting speed for part 2. So that could be A1 times T1 or 
um, it can be, we'll say, v squared is equal to 2a1 times s1. And in terms of its distance, we can say it's uh, ut plus a half at squared. ut plus a half at squared. So that, I suppose, becomes slightly more complicated. So what we're going to do is we're going to go v is equal to u plus at as well. We'll talk about it. We don't even need to use this. So v is equal to u plus at. So that's, um, let's say, a1, t1. That v is equal to u plus uh, a2, t2, like that. All right? So... Now this this might seem kind of um, haphazard and you don't really know what's going on, but all I'm saying at the moment is I've put down my UVAST formula and I've filled in the different things, and after that then I can start uh, I can start how would I say I can start looking at them properly and analysing them properly. So the first thing we see here is that v1 is equal to a1 times t1. We also see that uh, v2 is equal to a1 t1 plus a2 t2. However, v2 is equal to 0, like that. So, we're also, we also know that, look, v1 is equal to a1 t1, and there's a1 t1, so 0 is equal to v1 plus a2 t2, like that. So, we're able to say that v1 is equal to minus a2, T2, like that. Okay. Now, what do we see here? We see a V1 and V1, and we have two different. Uh, we have two different. Um, we'll say formula for V1. So we know that. Say if I. Well, we, let's put a ratio. If we want, we could say that a1 t1 is equal to minus a2 t2 that's correct you could say you could divide them you could have v1 over v1 is equal to uh, a1 over a1 t1 over minus a2 t2 they're all the same thing so I'm just going to write it like this I'm going to say that a1 t1 is equal to minus a2 t2 and just a1, rearrange it like this, is equal to minus t2 over t1. Now, if you've done this in school, you might say, well, look, that, that negative sign isn't in the formula approved in school. Like I said, if you're actually given a figure of, we'll say, negative 10 for your deceleration, well, that, will, that minus sign will just go away. So it doesn't really matter. The, so there we go, anyway. That's quite handy. So if, you're, if you have uh, something, you have unit form acceleration, followed by immediate uniform deceleration so you have this kind of triangular shape like that you know that immediately you can apply the ratio whereby the ratio of their accelerations is equal to the ratio of their times well in inverted where it's say like a1 over a2 is equal to t2 over t1 and that's quite helpful now just finally to talk about this in terms of the general approach for these uh, the general approach for these questions I suggest uh, and this only suggestion is you start off with your UVAST formula, uh, or you start off with UVEST, you fill in as much as you can from these formulas here, and then from there on you look at, you look at them and see what you can do thereafter. That's, well, it'll become clearer as we start doing the exercises. So I hope that was uh, useful to you. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and pass it on to your friends.